when Robbie was on board with us, it, was, it reinvigorated my excitement, reignited my excitement. Uh, so then when he pulled out again, it was like the rug from under the, under the feet. I was gutted. Yeah, you feel a bit of a fool, because you started to believe. I suppose that's, that was more of it, or oh, we just started to believe. Um, and then, yeah, that's the fragility of everything, isn't it? When I heard, just before I went on holiday, oh, Rob doesn't want to do it now, I thought, oh, what the fuck's this? What are we going to do? You know, we had hits, That's, that was my problem. We had big songs already written, and it was like, what a waste. I remember sending Robbie an email saying, this is about life, this is. This is about, this is about the five of us. Um, you know, let, let's, let's enjoy it. I wasn't very well, you know, physically. I just didn't feel as though I had the energy to do it. You know, it was, um, it was a scary prospect um, to, to be out there amongst something that would be so huge when you're feeling depleted of life force. The unfortunate thing is, when you're part of a group and you've got that, that kind of changeable mind, we're, we're all going to suffer the consequences, you know, we're going to feel it as well. I actually said to Rob, you know, your, your, your whims have a direct effect on, on us. Uh, but, but equally, none of us were going to say to Rob, no, we were going to try and strongly encourage him, but none of us were going to say, no, you must do this, because, because we tried to manipulate him and each other back in the day, and we, we didn't want manipulation to be a part of it. It was his choice. I went round to Rob's and uh, went round a couple of times, because it's just better if you can speak to each other, isn't it, I think? And, um, and we, we worked out that day said, forget about promotion, forget about touring, because that's a big, that's, that's a big thing. It's always daunting that, because that, you know it's a year. But let's just say we just make this record. Let's look at how many days it's going to take us max. And we're kind of work, working out, and we, we said it's going to take about 30 days of you actually being in the studio over this next year. Do you want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it. Well, have you got 30 days spare? Yeah, I've got 30 days spare. Right, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a thing that it's going to be... Uh, this is the best bit. Mm. Yeah. But it's a process, yeah. it's something that we have to work out whilst we're in here. It's something we wanted to talk about. You know, how we're going to find... We have to find a way to to agree with something. And I don't know how, how we're... You know, whether we're always going to do that or how we're going to do it or what's the process there. Well, there we're is... We're going to keep hitting walls. 
actually me personally, I'm not afraid of hitting some walls. That's for me. This process is as much about was getting getting beyond the walls we hit. Yeah. Than it is producing some great lyric or a great melody or whatever. It's about us communicating properly. Yeah. Because Rob, I used to think when when people would say, don't say a bad thing. Go on. <laughs> Rob's ego, the ego has landed and missed. I always thought that you were playing on that. I always thought that was an image that you were putting out there because it was appealing at that time. But then a few times that I met you over the years, I walked away and I thought, oh right, he's living it. He really has got a big ego and he's admitting it and living it. And he's admitting it and living it. And you do get depressed if your albums don't go to number one and you're, and you're not the king of pop. I thought that, I always thought that you could have taken or leaving it. I always thought you didn't give a shit really. You were just getting away with it. Well, I will say the only time I bumped into you is when you said they're calling you the King of Pop. Yeah, a couple of times we bumped into each other. That was one of them. Yeah. I... But you know, I, but I have to say that I thought your ego was you got an ego. I know you're probably right. You, you know, right. there was two. There was you were two. Right. I didn't see mine. Well, there was two people. You know. You know. There was. Yeah, rub, rubbing. Yeah, hitting rubbing, each it, hitting each other the wrong way. It's funny because yesterday I had a moment like like that. And... It hit me, and I wanted to bring it up at some point about what time when to discuss it, really. Because when you said to me, uh, "I don't think you'll ever be happy with anything unless you've done it," you said to me, um, which I just went, Phew. and but it's something that I have to well, deal I with. Get, I don't know what you mean. So. Well, sometimes Mark comes in with a fucking absolute hit melody, and you you do have days you do where you come in, and it doesn't matter what you put on that table, you won't have it unless you come up with it. But that's why we're all here, is to deal with this shit. Yeah. Because it could be great, we're going to try.